Hi friends, I am so excited about being able to bring you monthly favorites of September. September has been the month from you know where for me. It has been horrible. I have had so many things happen in September. My husband got in the bad accident at work where he got a horrible concussion. We, it was really just awful. My mom and dad have been diagnosed of COVID. My son has been recovering from back surgery. It has been a month for me. So needless to say, I'm I'm really happy to see it go. I think I've said that every month so far this year. I'm happy to see it go and the next month come in because I'm hopeful for the next month. Thank you guys all so much for your well wishes about my mom and dad. I really don't have much of an update about them. They are just kind of holding their own. This is the third week they're going into with COVID, but there's no complications and I'm happy about that. So the other thing about my husband is he's doing really well. He um, has gone back to work now i think it's been a week and a half and he had those big long staples in his head i mean the skin on the head is super thick and you know it's really hard to get that skin to come together to heal and he had those big long staples in there and once he got the staples out his head quit hurting which i was like when i saw how long they were i was like no wonder it hurt you know all the time from that skin being pulled all the time you can imagine you know when we have our hair up when i have my hair up anyway i get this really bad headache at the end of the day if i don't just take it out and let it just you know be what it is so you guys probably can imagine what he was going through and then my son is doing really well he finally went back to work too so we are looking up as far as everything goes if i can keep my mother and dad from having any complications i'm going to be a happy camper so i did want to make sure that i told you guys all that and i thanked you so much for all of your well wishes you guys helped get me through you guys are wonderful so because there is so much in this video it's going to be like slamming quick because i have a ton of products i have some that were misses but I have some that were hits and I want to get all of them in here. But if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification. All those things. I would love to have you here. Thanks everyone else for being a part of my channel and hit the like for me if you will make sure that you do that. Let's get into the monthly favorites so that you can see everything right now. All right, first I want to talk about skincare. And when I did a skincare video, I think it's the video I did right before this one, put up before this one. Nope, it was probably two videos ago because I did have another one go up. So this is my Light LED. So it's spelled L-Y-T-E. That is the brand. And it's the LED device that I use on my skin. And this is um, a really great device. It holds a charge a long time and it does a really great job of doing that LED effect to your skin. I have been really concentrating on my foreheads, my crows, my foreheads, my forehead, my crow's feet, and my lips lately for all of my skincare devices. And I do have a couple. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section because I can do some videos on just what I use for devices. So this one isn't terribly expensive. I've seen some that are really, really expensive. And I want to make sure I told you that this one was sent to me, but I don't get a commission off of talking about it or anything. It's been a long time since they sent it to me. And at first I was like, I don't know, if I see a difference, but now I'm starting to really see a difference. And this is at least eight to 10 weeks later. So don't give up if you feel like, okay, I've tried this for a month, nothing's really happening. It takes a while, you know, on our mature skin to have things show up. Same thing with any skincare that you use. You're probably not going to see a difference in the first bottle. If it's an ounce bottle, you'll see a difference later on. So I've, been, I've really been enjoying this. It takes five minutes wherever you put it. So make sure you're just doing it like when you have your downtime at night and you do have to have clean, dry skin, but you just put it right, you know, wherever you want it to. And then it just sits on the skin and each time you move it around it will you know go off when it's pulled away from the skin after it beeps and then you can move it to the next place and it should just come on automatically i have found that this does get pretty warm so if it gets too warm it won't come on right away you kind of have to kind of cool it off and then you can just push it or put it on the next place that you're using it. So I'm really enjoying this. I think it's doing a really great job of helping to rejuvenate my older skin. So I wanted to make sure that I mentioned it because a lot of you asked about that in the skincare video. I didn't link it. It is linked there and it will be linked here and now so you guys can see it. And I can show you a demo if you guys wanna see my skincare devices. All right, as far as skincare goes, I do have a few I wanna talk about. This is from Dermaputics. This is the Hyaluronic Eye Lift. This has a super hyaluronic complex. It also has peptides in it. So it's kind of like for me, I almost use it like a primer for my eye area. It's very watery, as you can see right there, but it at the same time has just a little bit of viscosity um, to it that really helps it just sink into the skin. And so it's like 
gonna sit there without just sinking in and evaporating and i love that about it and it just really seems to plump that area up in the morning when before i put makeup on so that that area can be as smooth as possible it, as it possibly can with the wrinkles that i do have and then i'm also enjoying a couple others that i did talk about this month as well from imagine dermatology their hy hyaluronic hydration honey supercharged moisturizer complex not only does it have um, the hyaluronic acid, but it also has urea. You guys know that I'm over the moon happy about what urea does for moisture and your face. I have specific products that I use for that. And it also has polyglutamic acid, which, which is supposed to hold four times the amount that hyaluronic acid does. So we so know that hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times its weight in water. It'll attract that. This will also hold four times that much, 4,000 times in polyglutamic acid. I think that is just amazing. In the molecule, it will cut, hold 4,000 4, times its weight. So, I mean, that's saying a lot. I feel like that's just saying so much. So good for holding moisture to your face. Use it in the mornings. And at the end of the day, you're still gonna have a really nice plump, nice plump look to your face. Really love that. And I also wanted to mention, I had this in another video recently too. Ollie got to these. Yes. Hi, Smuckers. Ollie got to these, but um, I love these. These are the nails that you have, that I have on right now. I can tell you that I'm not as crazy about the, this length and this particular one from kiss as i am about the impress now these ones didn't seem to stay on as long as the impress with the impress i can get like five to seven days so if it does say the impress it has that pull tab you just pull it off and then you press it onto your nail and you just hold it for a little while and then you have a really strong hold on these um, nails that are they're acrylic by the way and they have the greatest designs isn't that beautiful i just love them and these ones are great too this one has like a bunch of bling on it and, and then just a white manicure right here I really like what they have they have a bunch of different ones and i've really been enjoying those this month for one of my misses I did want to mention that I picked up the new quads from flower beauty off of their website And these are really beautiful colors inside. I was really excited about the colors there This one has kind of a mauve um, almost a violet uh, colors to it And then this one is more of a nude look to it and then this last one is just kind of light pinks and colors like that. And They're these just don't have a lot of pigment to them. And the problem is, is that it takes forever to build them up as well. So I just feel like these were just a really bad miss for me this month. I would not recommend that you guys get these. And I also tried on the high end, I tried the new haze from Huda Beauty. These are the haze palettes. I have the purple haze and I have the khaki haze. And I do really like these. This is a good formula. It's Huda's regular formula. It's really saturated. They are really beautiful eyeshadows. So there is the haze one. That is that one. So pretty. And then the khaki one. What I love about this one I loved this color right here. Even though that was khaki, that was almost a cool toned brown. And I thought that was so pretty. And then again, the metallics in here are fantastic. And then you have these beautiful, beautiful mattes that um, really perform well across the eyes. Just subtly different. And I just think that they're going to be a staple in my eyeshadow rotation. $29. I do think that that is a little bit much for a nine pound palette. You guys know that I just did a review of my nine pound palette on ColourPop. So you could probably find something from ColourPop that you like, but those are more monochromatic, whereas these give you a little bit of a diversity in them and you're able to get, you know, several eye looks out of a little palette like this. But I will tell you what stole the show for me this month. It's LA Girls' new little nine pan palettes themselves. Love these, you guys. This is like their big 16 pan palettes that I talk for talk about all the time. Oh my word. Okay, this one is called Playmate. Love these, you guys, they're so good. They have that super high, high metallic formula that is just outstanding. But this one, I loved that it had the peach in there. I loved that it had the deep brown in there that was almost like, it's almost like a berry brown, if that makes any sense. I think it's so gorgeous. They're just every bit as good as the Huda Beauty ones and they just look so pretty on the skin and I am in love with them. This one is called Playtime. And even though I do love the colors in here, I actually think that I like that other one that I just showed you, the Playmate one. I do think I like that just a little bit more and I know that's weird for me to even say. But this one, it has the gorgeous colors that are just 
so pretty. If you're a purple lover like I am, you're gonna love them. They're right there. I'm terrible at swatching. You guys know this. All right, the last one that I'm gonna share with you is called Downplay. And this is what I have on my eyes today. I have this color right here on the lid. I have this one as the transition. And then I have this one that's the charcoal in the outer corner. And then I have um, an e.l.f. color on the bottom be in another video, but I really do love these. They are super saturated, super gorgeous. I can't talk enough about that, that formula. That formula is just pow, out of this world. And I just, it's so pretty, so vibrant, so gorgeous. If you guys have any doubts about LA Girl being a company that is drugstore, it's cheap, let me put those at rest because honestly, you guys, I have every single 16 pan palette that they've put out. And then now I'm getting into these nine pans that they just brought out this month. And I can tell you right off the bat that these are fantastic. And I over the moon, happy, happy, happy with those. Revolution Pro came out with a bunch of stuff for this time of year. And one of them was this luster highlight. Okay, first of all, take a look at this packaging. This is so luxe. This is like everything that I've ever seen from like, Huda Beauty or Charlotte Tilbury or Hourglass, any of those companies. This is absolutely as luxe. Look at the imprint. It's a rose imprint like Smashbox did last year. This is so pretty. I cannot believe that they have done this. All right, the product in here, I will say two things about it. Okay, look how bright that is. That's crazy bright, right? It is a tiny bit powdery. I will say but that. This is a gorgeous color on the lids. And second of all, if you take this and you use it a little bit lighter, I really dipped my finger in there. You just look at, use it a little bit lighter and you look at that glow. Holy Moses, right? Oh my gosh. Look at the glow. I think because of the imprint, there is a little bit of kick up there, but, and I already do have a lot of glow on already, but look, oh my word. Oh my goodness. Look at the glow. Holy cow, I'm looking in my little viewfinder, I apologize. This is just, it's gorgeous. You just have to go really light-handed on it because it can get away from you. And when I say away from you, I mean it could get to be too much if you use too much of it. So just be aware of that. I don't know, you know, it's a little bit powdery, but oh my gosh, it's just glow. There's like no little particles of glitter in it or anything. So beautiful. Pixie Our Beauty sent me the nicest care package this month of uh, four different little palettes. This is one of the face ones. So it's a quad. It has two highlighters in here and then it has this gorgeous two blushes right here, which this blush is like a cool toned, it's almost like you could definitely do your contour with it. The only thing is it does have a satin finish to it. This blush doesn't. This blush is more on the matte side. So I really do like mixing these two together and then you get just a beautiful look across your cheeks. I'm gonna show you that as well because this is really pretty and I don't have a ton of blush on today. I do have some, but I don't have a ton. And this is just so, look, it's just so saturated. Oh my gosh. It is so pretty and just absolutely gorgeous. And wow, it is, it's beautiful. I love the hot pink. I think that it's a color that just about anybody could wear unless you have really, really warm undertone. But I really like that. And then these highlighters are like the ones that they have in those little pants that are the round pants. And they are every bit as, you know, just gorgeous glow as the Makeup Revolution was. Only I think I like this a little bit more as far as the actual formula. It's a little bit softer. There's, you know, it's not very powdery at all. It's just beautiful. And of course we can put more glow on. When could we not put more glow on? that we don't love the glow. Just beautiful, compact, love that. This is the new Air Volume Mega Mascara from L'Oreal. I This may be my new favorite mascara ever because I have it on today. It makes your, your lashes so big, so long. It really gives that volume that you need. It's very, very soft. You know how some drugstore mascaras can be a little bit crunchy. It feels so soft to me and that's what I love about it. And I've used it on the bottom lashes today so far. No smudging, nothing like that. And when I take it off at night, yes, Oliver, when I take it off at night, what happens is I can take it off so easily because I usually use waterproof and it takes a little bit more. I take this off so easily because it's, it's washable. And I really love that about it. Love how easy it comes off, but I love that it doesn't flake after 14 plus hours. I just think that's great. City Beauty sent me a huge PR package. I mean, it was big, you guys, and I was just blown away that I got anything like that. But I'll tell you right now that the two, I mean, there was a lot of skincare in there, so it takes me a while to make an opinion about skincare. This isn't cheap skincare. It's really quite expensive. But the City Lips are, it's a gloss formula, and it 
makes your pout look so pretty. The other thing that is wonderful about it, you is can smell the vitamins in this. You know how when you open up a vitamin um, bottle, like your multivitamins, you smell vitamins? That's almost what it smells like. It's not a bad smell because it does have a little bit of vanilla in it. It's not a bad smell, but I can definitely tell that it has those lip loving ingredients in it. And the other thing is this lasts. Holy Moses, if you put this on at night before you go to bed, you're going to have a moisture on your lips still in the morning. And that's saying a lot. I'm a mouth breather and I also drink during the night. So definitely saying a lot for me to say that this is going to be on in the morning. It seems like my lip wrinkles are being diminished. Don't know whether it's the light therapy that I'm using that I talked about a minute ago or whether it's this, but between the two, I feel like my vertical lines that are on my lips are really being diminished. So really enjoying that one. And then the other one that I'm loving so much, um, this is their Skin Perfecting Daily Veil. It is a primer and it also has a little bit of hydration in it. And it also has a sunscreen of 39 in it. First of all, this has a great consistency. So it's almost like a thick moisturizer. So you don't really feel that dimethicone until you start moving it around. And then you can see that it's got that skin perfecting in it. So it has that little bit of dimethicone in it, but I can feel the hydration in it. And I can also see that there's just a little bit of glowing particles in there. Can you guys see that? It's so pretty. I am in love with this stuff. I know that it's, again, not cheap, but you know what I do love about City Beauty is that they have sales all the time. So get on their mailing list. Just love this stuff and think that it's one that I'm going to really love over and over again. I also wanted to mention another PR product I got. This is from Lily Silk and these are silk pillowcases. They sent me two of them and I kept one in the box so you guys could see how beautifully they package this. Do you have somebody in your life that you have a hard time finding gifts for? This is a good thing because every woman that I know wants to save her skin. She wants to save her hair. She wants to look beautiful. This helps your hair not be frizzy. I have noticed such a big difference in the health of my hair since I've been using these for about six weeks or so, and I love them. They're beautifully packaged, like I said. It comes in this gorgeous package, gold on the back, and then the packaging right here. And then when you take it off, it's packaged just like you would package a fine scarf or something, and then the pillowcase comes out. Now, this is a kink size one. This is their gray, which I thought was so pretty. Of course, they didn't have purple or I would have gotten purple. So pretty. I love these. They feel so soft on the skin. They're soft in your hair. You don't have any sort of tug on your hair or on your skin at night when you're laying on them and they wash up like a dream. This is a brand new one out of the package, but I do have my other one that I've washed like crazy. I wanted to save this one so you guys could see how beautiful they were packaged and how they came out of the package so nice. They don't have the actual zipper. I don't like a zipper on my pillow. I don't know why. Maybe it's because when they're zipped in, I can't move manipulate my pillow enough. And these do have the envelope where they just, you know, fold over onto themselves. So I do like that about it. So wanted to make sure that I told you about that. They did send me those, but I've been in love with them. Cannot believe that I took this long to find out about those because everybody talks about them. All right, the last thing is hair care. This brush right here, uh, you guys have probably noticed my hair, I'm wearing a little bit straighter, but it looks so much healthier. And a couple things I'm using, this is the Living Proof Perfect Day Night Cap. You can put this on your hair as a mask at night. Run it through your hair, comb it through or brush, wet brush it through, whichever you decide. And then when you wash your hair in the morning, your hair is so soft. I cannot believe how beautiful this is. And I've had this for about a month. I'm about down to here because I use it every single time. And I do have, you know, longer hair, so it takes a little bit more to coat it. I do it about midway and then I go clear to the ends and I make sure that I really soak those ends so it's that it's doing its thing overnight and it's really helping a lot. So I'm in love with that. And I also found from Living Proof the Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. This is really good for leaving your hair soft and shiny and detangles and it's a heat protectant and it's a styler. So I do love both of those from Living Proof. They've been really good. But this brush, you guys, this brush is awesome. So it's a round brush, but it has the vent right there. And I love that I can, my hair's long, it's huge, which is nice, but I love that I can, you know, get this cleared down into my scalp 
with this brush and that I can lift my roots and really, you know, dry those roots. And that's really been my problem all along is that I have not had enough volume in my roots because my hair is super fine and super limp. And that's just been a problem for me all along. But wow, I am in love with this brush and I think it's such a good one. And I have loved how shiny my hair has been after using I think this. It's and really I wonderful for its venting that it doesn't get too hot on my hair. I love the bristles are longer. I have longer hair. I love that about it. It catches, which is great, but it doesn't tug. Be careful that you don't pull your wet hair. You don't want to ever really pull your wet hair hard. You'll stretch that strand and it will become brittle. So make sure you don't do that. But this has really made a difference in how shiny my hair is and how much more volume it has in it. And I just have really been loving this and been able to do a blowout where I've never been able to do a blowout before. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing September's favorites. Is there anything in the month of September that you have gotten that you've just been like, I love this. This is great. You saw what I found. I'd love to hear what you found. That would be great. Thanks so much for spending a bit of your day with me today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. Love you guys very much. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay sanitized, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.